Hello! Today's video is about how to use course and membership templates. Let's begin. On the sidebar inside course section, click on course funnels. Choose your course and click on edit funnel button. First, I'll show you how to use membership template, so click on it. Make sure the blinker is on the side blinking. Then choose a template. We have a lot of available templates here, and there are some with a check mark on them, which means these templates are specified for this category and according to the course flow. And if you choose these templates, you don't need to add much more things on it to show your course on the membership page. So I'll choose this template. And now if I visit the page, you can see here that you have your course promo video and description of the course. It's already added here. But you can further edit this text on your membership page. You can modify that on the editor page. So go back and click on the edit template button. Now we can modify it here. You can add your logo, titles, and you can add other pages if you have them. You can leave it as it is, or you can create more. But one thing you'll need to remember, that you should not edit the short codes that it's in here. But you can change the fonts, size, and colors. Just don't edit the short code text itself. So that's about it here on the membership page template. Edit it dependent on your liking. So let's move on to the course page template. So click on course. And always remember, for this specific pages, you must select the right page category for it to perform its purpose. You can check on it inside settings and make sure it's on course. And also attach your desired course. Then save your settings. Now let's choose the template, so click on it. You have three types of templates here. First one is a blank template, a smart course template, and blue course template. In using the blank template, you'll need to enable the default header setting. I will show it to you. On the sidebar, select on course content, go to your course, and click on edit course button. Go to your settings, and enable this button for default header menu. So if you're using the blank template, this button must always be enabled. So let's do that and save changes. Then let's choose the blank template and let's visit the page to see how it would look like. Here you can see the default menu. And if you want a header and footer menu also, let's go back and select other template. If you're going to use the other template instead of the blank one, the default menu button must be disabled. Then choose the template, and this is how it would look like on the student's perspective. Now we can see the header and the footer menu added. You can further edit it and modify all the components that you have here just by going to the editor, like what we did earlier. You can edit your logo. Let me add in a logo and let's import a file. And you can use these other components if you need them. You can add links to just add the URL here. But for now, I don't need some of them, so let me delete some of them. Again, like what I've said earlier, never edit the short codes that you have here for it to work properly. And after you're done editing on your liking, don't forget to save your changes. And let's see how it changed now on the student's perspective. See here, the logo was added easily. And for example, I want to remove the user's progress shown here on the right side. Just remove it on the editor, save it, and when we reload the page, it will be gone immediately. And that's how you would easily use, edit, and manage your membership and course templates. And for the next video to come, we'll show you how to create a custom course templates and use the short codes. So that is it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful, and as always, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.